The world of women's professional soccer is facing a reckoning right now that started here in Portland. Former players with the Portland Thorns, Thorns and others within the National Women's Soccer League say that they aren't going to let up on the league until they feel that the players are better protected. They say players have been abused and been, they've been trying to get the league's attention unsuccessfully about this for years. Last week, The Athletic published an in-depth investigation about former Portland Thorns coach Paul Riley. Former players accused him of coercing them into having sex with him, making abusive comments, sending inappropriate pictures, inviting them to hotel rooms, a lot of very inappropriate things for your boss to be doing to you. The players, Mona Shim and Sinead Farley, along with Alex Morgan, talked about it on the Today Show this morning. He's a predator. He sexually harassed me. He sexually coerced Sinead. And he took away our careers. Yeah. Sinead, how would you answer that question? What do you want people to know about what happened to you? I think it's just really important and why we wanted to share our story and share in so much detail um, the damage that was done um, to our careers, but who we are as people. Um, the damage to my self-confidence and how I saw myself, how I approached life, it, it seeps into every part of your livelihood and um, there is a lot of loss that comes with that and things I will not get back. Paul Riley has denied the accusations against him. He was fired from his job coaching the North Carolina Courage after this all came out. He lost his coaching license after it. The players say it wasn't just Riley who hurt him though. They say the entire league failed them when they tried to report Riley back in 2015. When I look back, I tried to be as good of a friend and teammate as possible to Mana in helping her file a complaint when there at the time was no anti-harassment policy in place. There was no league HR. There was no anonymous hotline. There was no way to report. Um, we have now started to put these things in place um, by demand of players, not by being, not by the league being proactive. So th something we ask is for the league to start being proactive, not reactive. We ask for transparency. The league eventually investigated Riley in 2015. They did, and the Portland Thorns ownership chose not to renew his contract because they say he violated policies, but they never made the details of that investigation public, and Riley was hired by other teams. Alex Morgan tweeted screenshots of emails sent to league commissioner Lisa Baird back in April, asking for her to reopen that 2015 investigation, and that request was disregarded. Baird resigned after the article came out, but she released a new statement saying the incidents happened five years before she began working for the NWSL. She told NBC News she's proud of the work that she did to protect players, including instituting background checks and anti-harassment policies.